The SNP campervan story is getting a little bit weird now, as the deputy leader of the party has been seen making jokes about uh, going on holiday with their bestie, Nicola Sturgeon, in a campervan. Now, this is evidence that the SNP establishment are not taking any of this seriously. Any of the problems that uh, they've been causing, because they think it's just an internal issue. They think that it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really um, affect the taxpayers and the voters. But of course it does. At best, it's affecting your party members who've been giving you money. At worst, well, it's been showing the lack of integrity that you have. And also uh, how you've also been taking advantage of the taxpayers' money. With the ferry fiasco and all the other lockdown grants from the central government and everything else that you guys have done in Scotland. So, Shona Robinson, who's a deputy leader, has been uh, making jokes uh, <laughs> about the whole situation, which is a little bit weird. So, she's been joking about going on a motorhome holiday with Nicola Sturgeon weeks before the police seized a luxury camper van secretly owned by the SNP. So... How secretive was this if Shona Robinson was making jokes about this? So I know this is just uh, a joke that she made, but uh, and I know that it's not really as easy to use it in the court of law. But at the same time, smoking gun, right? So why, why was she joking about that uh, if uh, nobody knew that the SNP had that camper van and they somehow left it on uh, the driveway of uh, Peter Morrill's mother's house it makes no sense so clearly they knew something some people knew something it wasn't just as simple as that now the new scottish government number two is suggested that the two pals should embark on a road trip in the style of a movie pair Thelma and lewis <laughs> uh, who ended the film by driving off a cliff now this is just poetry i mean we can't we don't even we can't make this up they are literally writing a script for us at this point. They are a joke as a party and as a Scottish administration. That was brilliant as an analogy because that is literally what's happening now. The cliff. The go <laughs> so that's one thing. Anyway, um, considering that the, the issue around the camper van is not just about one motorhome. It's also about all the other evidence that the police have collected and seized. And what we are wondering is what happened to the investigation? Because over the last uh, couple of weeks, we haven't really heard much uh, since the last arrest. And, the, you know, the SNP treasurer, the SNP uh, chief executive and many others, uh, we, we were waiting for some sort of update. But Police Scotland are not really giving us any update. All we know is that nobody knew about the camper van, apparently, but they were joking about it. And uh, they, even the president of the SNP at the time was uh, campaigning in a, in a horse box. <laughs> And apparently he felt left out. He was furious when he found out that there was a camper van that they used the, the people's money to buy. And apparently it was for campaigning. But the SNP president had to go around uh, campaigning in a horse box. <laughs> if you have a camper van, let him use it. The poor guy is feeling left out, guys. Come on. It's a little bit embarrassing. So this is the latest update on the motorhome issue. Um, considering that uh, people like Sean Robinson claim that they didn't know anything about any of it, uh, but they somehow are making jokes about going on a holiday in a camper van with the former leader, her bestie, oh, two pals, um, Thelma and Louise. Yeah, why not? Do it. Do it now. Anyway, let's take a break. We're going to come back and give you guys more updates on what's going on up in Scotland. I'm Maya 2C, and we are the media.